hello developers welcome back next in the view 3 series we will see watchers you may be familiar with the watch option from the view version 2 the objective of the watch is the same you want to watch some data and on change that data you want to perform some actions now let's see how we can implement watcher in composition api so for that here i'll create a new component let's say component name is watch example dot view and next to tag let's say watchers in view 3 now let's register this in the app dot view here i am going to comment this now let's comment this also now here i'll import watch example next let's comment this and and here i'll add watch example component tag is done now let's see this in browser if it is working and here it has printed the text so our component is working next in the watch example component let's say here we have input field type text and v hyphen model is equal to search next i will create this search variable in the setup method so here i'll say setup and const search is equal to ref and it has automatically pulled in ref from the view library and initially it is empty string and finally here i'll return search let's print search right here now let's go to browser and here is the input field and it is not looking good i think that is because of this style let's remove it now go to browser and here it is now that's better let's add this style here text align center to make it center that's better now now as if i type here search field is in printer right here now let's console log search right here here I'll say search and search dot value. Now go to browser. Let's say open the inspect tool and console refresh. And here we can see the search console log. Initially it was empty. Now as we type, here we see that this value is changing, but we cannot see any console log. That is because this setup method runs once. And it cannot track this console log when this search value changes. For that, we need watcher. So here I'll say watch and make sure it is pulled in from the view library. Next, the it will accept the two parameters. The first argument we need to pass is the variable name which we want to watch. In our case, that is search. And then next parameter is the callback function. Now in this callback function, I will console log that search. Search dot value. Now this time, let's go to browser, refresh. Now this time, if I change anything in this input field, you can immediately see the console log in the inspect tool. Now here in this callback, you can perform any actions, such as you can call the API to fetch the results according to the search keyword. Now here you have a search variable using ref and you pass that search right here in the watcher and then you can easily track that. In this callback you can also get the new, new search and the previous search text. Let's console log this also. Now go to browser refresh now let's press the letter v and immediately you can see the searched text is the v and the new search text is v previous 
search was empty string as we change v u and immediately the search text is v u and new search is v u and its previous value was v and in this callback method you can perform any logic you need according to the new and previous searched value now here we have a search variable using ref now what if we have a search variable using reactive option let's see an example so here i'm going to comment this and let's say here a const search is equal to and here i'll say reactive this reactive need a object so here i'll pass object and here let's say we have a query initially it is empty now this search is returned right here next in the v model we need to say search dot query now here we need to watch the query so here in this watcher we cannot pass the search variable instead we have to pass this query so if i say search dot query should it work let's see and here we get the error ref is defined but never used so let's remove this ref now go to browser refresh and here it has printed the object that is because of here here we need to say search dot query refresh now if it has changed its value but in the console we did not get any console log from the watcher instead instead here we get a warning that a was source can only be getter effect function a ref or a reactive object or an array so how we can watch this search query for that here what we will say we use a arrow function and that arrow function will return search dot query and this time it should work let's see so refresh and now if i change anything immediately you will see the console message here we get the error search undefined that is because here search dot query now see and it is working in view 3 this watcher can also watch multiple variables let's see an example of it so let's say here we have input field name so input type text and v hyphen model is equal to name now let's print the name similarly we have another input field let's say it's email v model email and print that email now here let's remove it and here let's we have a cost name is equal to ref input string and email now we need to return both these variables let's see in the browser if everything is working the reactive is defined never used watch is defined never used we need to remove both of these options now it is working that's better now now let's implement the watcher for both these variables so here i'll create watch now here i want to watch both name and emails so here the first argument will be array and in that argument we will pass both variable name and email next argument going to be the callback now here let's console log name and email now go to browser refresh now let's enter the name value so name is harish and here we get the ref object so here instead of this name we need to console log name dot value and name dot email and also i will specify name right here and email right here email dot value 
now it's fine click this now this time if i type anything and it will watch the the name similarly if i say reset example and it is also watching that similarly if you want to track previous and old value for both these variable to track the old and new values for both these variables uh, we will need to pass the array arguments in this call that function so in the first array argument we will pass new name and new email and second argument will be priv name and priv email let's see this so here is the new name and this is the new email similarly let's print the previous name and previous email we change h and you can easily track new name is h and previous name is empty string a and the new name is h a and previous name has h similarly in the email field type e and this new email has e and previous email is empty e m and now new email has e m and previous email has e works exactly same now in this callback you can track both the name and email variable now on change any of these variable this watcher will trigger now in view 3 we have a another watcher that is watch effect it also tracks the reactive data similar like this watch let's see this also so first let's comment it now here i'll say watch effect and this watch effect going to accept only one argument that is callback function and now in this callback function we will use any variable which we want to watch for example let's say console log name dot value in this watch function we have to specify the variable name which we want to watch but in the watch effect we don't need that this watch effect will automatically track the changes in the dependency variable in that case it is name and when it is changed it automatically triggers this watcher let's see this in browser so we have to remove the this watch import from here now now try this name and you can see we get the console log here similarly we can also watch email it will trigger this watcher if any of these variable change here let's specify name as well like this now in the browser and it is tracking its changes now you may ask that this watch effect and this watch doing the same thing watching the variables changes so why we need this watch effect and what is the difference between this watch effect and watch the first difference is that this watch is by default lazy loaded let's see so uncomment this and comment this console log in the watch effect and import watch right here now in the browser if i run refresh you will see no console log right here it will trigger the watcher if we change anything in the input field on the other hand let's uncomment this watch effect to see the difference here i am going to say watch effect name and watch effect email now if we refresh you will see on refresh it immediately triggered the watch effect name and watch effect email this watch effect triggers immediately when the component is mounted however this watch effect does not run immediately when component is mounted it triggers only when this value changes you can also tell this watcher to run immediately in the third argument here if we pass the object and in this object we will specify immediate true now this watch is no longer lazy loaded it will trigger immediately when the component will mount let's see refresh and here we go 
you can see this is from the watch the second difference is that this watch effect only takes one argument that is the callback function however this watch takes three arguments first argument is the variable name which we want to watch and second is the callback function and third is the optional configuration if we need it in this watch effect we don't have to specify the variables which we want to watch it will automatically tracks the its dependency variable in our case that is name and email and third difference is that in watch we can get the new and previous values however in the watch effect the previous value is not available so this watch is useful when we need to control which dependency should trigger this callback and when we need to access the previous values or we need to perform the lazy method of course i cannot tell you which is the best for your application but just make sure you know the reason why are you using watch effect or watch for your logic one more feature i forgot to mention that both watch effect and watch returns stop method which is useful if you want to stop watcher which is useful if you want to stop watcher when you have requirement let's see how you can implement that so let's say here we have a variable let stop watch effect now in this watch effect i'll say if name dot value dot length is equal to equal to 10 then it should stop the watcher so here i'll say stop watch effect and here i'll print name dot value dot length let's comment this watch for now now here we need to remove this watch now go to browser refresh and and right now this name has zero length now let's change its value now name has length 10 this time now if i change anything it will not longer console log because this watcher has stopped immediately after its length 10 and same thing we can implement with this watch also let's see so here i'll say watch and uncomment this now here i'll say let stop watch next in the callback i'll say if name dot value dot length equal to 5 then it should stop watch and here i also say dot length now go to browser now this time if i change now name length raised to 5 this time if i change anything it should not run the console and here it, it has stopped watching this is all in this lesson i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you like the tutorial hit the like button share this video and don't forget to subscribe us see you in the next lesson mm -hmm.